up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris. I've uh, got a lot more content coming out really, really soon. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me. Uh, first things up, we're gonna be doing the engine intake onto the second gen diesel today in today's quick video. Uh, it fits on the 14 to 16, they claim, um, with the second gen diesel. There's some small changes you'll have to make in order for this product to work. So I'm gonna go over that with you guys briefly in this video. So stick around, please subscribe, like this video, drop some comments down, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Today, we're going to install the engine intake onto a second gen turbo diesel for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a 2018. Some things are a little different. One being they've moved the throttle body all the way down there now, which is like far away. So I don't think the stock inlet tube is going to actually, well, I mean, the inlet tube of the engine is probably not going to fit properly. I think it's going to have to connect to this other tube here, which hoping it'll be, be the same. Um, also, if you come down here, there was a reservoir here with like a bolt. I don't think uh, that's going to work either. I'm going to have to use a pop clip or something that goes there. But yeah, just gonna kind of see how it goes. So I'm gonna pop this out real quick and see if the engine one will fit in there. Okay, stock tube is out. I may even try just running the engine inlet uh, pipe here onto the stock box because the stock box is still pretty cool and probably a little more quiet than the engine one. So I'm just gonna play around for a bit. Okay, we're well, just playing around with that. We're about two inches off so yeah that's not gonna work uh be kind of cool in a ideal world to maybe keep the stock box because uh, i think the iats will be better with that so you know inlet air temperature ambient air temperature all that stuff coming from the engine would probably be cooler if we could keep the stock box plus the engine will stay quieter so let's see what happens when i knock out this box and if we can make the engine one fit which is here. I've still got it sitting. So let's see if this can fit properly. A little dusty, but you know, let's check it out. Jen, once you pull out the filter, there's no bolts. It's just these rubber gaskets or rubber seals over these kind of like steel points in the frame. So you're gonna have to pull those out. But what you need to do first is kind of get the snorkel out of the way. So let's do that. Okay, to do that, there's that little green pop clip there, or a little green clip that goes on top of the snorkel. It just loosens it, and then you can pull the whole assembly out. That's how it looks. So I'm gonna kind of see how this bolt and one's gonna fit in there now. This is the only part I was concerned about is how to secure this piece without a bolt, which I actually don't have an extra bolt right now. Even if I do a pop clip or something, I mean, it's gonna be a little loose. So maybe it'll work for a second until I can find one, but let's see if we can still get it mocked up. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna fit, except I, someone on the Facebook group, Eco Diesels on Jeep Grand Cherokee said, they got it to fit, except theirs was rubbing over here. So I could see where that's super close. However, I just kind of reoriented some of the pipes and got it to work. This is kind of my temporary solution. Once I actually put a bolt down here, I think it won't rub at all because it's gonna pull everything into place. So what I want to do now is kind of, yeah, start it up and see how it goes. See if it still sounds crazy. Yep. Can you hear that? Honestly, it's quieter than it was on the previous gen. So I'm gonna roll around for town for a bit. Hopefully everything stays together and see how it goes. Uh... All right, Jill, let's check this out here. Definitely can hear that intake more. It's 
it's definitely a lot more pronounced. <laughs> I don't know why I like that sound. It's pretty childish, but it's cool. It's pretty subtle, honestly. It's not like overbearing like my Cobb intake was on my WRX. Pool right here. Honestly, I should really do some videos with the draggy, uh, both intake boxes, see if there is any difference in 0 to 60, which I doubt there is because somebody was telling me on Facebook that the IAT temperatures or whatever the ambient temperatures and this and that were always hotter with aftermarket intake, so he just stuck with the factory box and I guess he's tried three or four different intakes on the eco diesels so I mean for now this sounds cool I already had the product so here it is uh, may switch back to the factory box and just put a AFE drop-in filter or something like that but yeah that's where we're at I'm pretty happy with how it sounds so yeah again guys thanks so much for joining if you like this content please subscribe down below like the video and comment and i'll get back to any comments as soon as i can guys i've got more content again gonna be pumping it out really really soon so stick around stoke to the sound of the intake you kind of hear it you heard it better in the videos earlier but yeah guys um i'll see you all soon have a fantastic week i'll catch you guys next time peace out